When I was a nipple, only six months old, my mother and my father too. They didn't know what to wean me on. They were in the dreadful stew. They Gary, thank you for joining us today. Uh, this is a play that you've wanted to do for as long as I've known you, for seven years at least. Can you tell me a little bit what attracted you to the play so much? The historic meeting of um, Sigmund Freud and Salvador Dali is so precious. It's just one of those clever, intelligent comedies that you kind of look for and um, hope that somebody would write. It's an interesting show. I, I've worked on um, tons of comedies and farces. And what's interesting about this one is that it, it starts as a comedy and a farce, and then it becomes a drama. And, and that's kind of what's delicious about it. Who are you? Don't you recognize me? It feels as though I should, but... Yes, you should. We've met? No, never. Please, it's late. Who are you? I am your anima, Professor Freud. My what? It's a psychological term denoting the denied female element of the male psyche. I know what it is. Denied but desired. Damn nonsense. That's what it is. Did he send you? The lunatic, Jung. Oh. The crackpot, the friend of the gods. No. He did, didn't he? This is his feeble idea of a practical joke. No one sent me. Due to my advancing years, I am quite prepared to come up against the odd figment of my own imagination, but I have no time for flesh and blood imposters. And I certainly refuse to confront aspects of my personality which I did not even propose. Anima is tosh. Sigmund Freud is played by Alvin Epstein, who um, is sort of a legend in American theater. He's been around for more than 50 years. Can you tell me a little bit about what he brings to the role of Sigmund Freud? I've seen Alvin in so many different productions, um, but I've never seen him be as comical as he is in this role. He's got a great sense of humor and he's just a, what you would call a supreme fasseer. <laughs> <laughs> Mervyn plays uh, Dr. Yehuda, who is sort of a fictional character and he's incredibly uh, talented. Mary McCool plays the character Jessica and that role provides uh, some substantial acting challenges. It does, yeah. She makes um, a turn mm -hmm. from comedy to drama, right. and that's very challenging. The um, role of Salvador Dali is played by um, Matt Miller. Could you talk a little bit about his performance? I know Matt is an incredibly um, talented actor, and the challenge is there not to make him a caricature and to make him interesting and three-dimensional. I think Matt gives it, gives the role an incredible dimension. Let me describe to you the painting I've just completed. It is called Dream Caused by the Flight of a Bee Around a Pomegranate One Second Before Waking Up. It depicts the splitting of a pomegranate and the emergence of a large gold fish. And from the mouth of the fish leaps a tiger! Ow! From the mouth of the tiger leaps another tiger. From the mouth of this tiger, a rifle with a fixed bayonet about to pierce the white flesh of a naked girl. <laughs> Narrowly misses her armpit. And beyond all this, a white elephant with impossible legs carries past a monument of ice. Well, you have to see it for yourself, really. I love every moment in the play. Um, he's just a very skillful comedy writer, Terry is. It's amazing. <laughs> Take it to Paris, Ramon and I blow a jack on a 
Like to get back a five-year-old dog a pound. Good old Eric. Bravo, Eric.